my very most beautiful Gemini. How is everyone? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your January monthly reading. And this is a general reading. It may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. And everything that you guys will need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. So we're going to do an element spread for our monthlies. I think I want to do something a little bit more general, a little bit more all-encompassing. If love comes up, you're totally going to read it, but um, I want to give you an idea of all the energies that are at play for you. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my most beautiful Geminis, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Gemini's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. So we are going to take a look at your air energy, which is going to be your thoughts and communication. Your emotional energy, your water energy, so your emotions and what your intuition is trying to tell you. We're going to take a look at your earth energy, so for what you're trying to ground, what you're trying to manifest, and what your stability looks like. Then we are going to go to your fire energy for what you're creating and what you're destroying. So we are going to take a look at the bottom, see what we got going on here. So there could be something here that you guys are getting ready on the verge. It kind of feels like I'm giving up on it. It kind of feels like things aren't maybe going the way that you want it to. You're definitely not happy with the way that things are in a specific situation right now. Now, these energies can apply to friend, family member, relationships, lovers. I mean, this can be work. However, these energies are at play in your life, however it resonates for you. But it does look like there's a situation here that you guys are not happy with, with that Nine of Cups in the reverse. And you got the Nine of Wands in the reverse as well, now you're next to it. Two Nines to me is like the almost, like almost there kind of energy. So I feel like you guys are almost to a breaking point. You guys are almost to a point of, you know, giving up on something because you're just really not happy with where it's at. And you got the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You know, not sure, not sure if it's worth it. I'm not sure... You know, that's kind of the energy of the Seven of Pentacles in general. It's asking you, is it worth it? Is it worth the work? Um, you know, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. I think you're asking yourself that. Is this worth it? So let's go ahead and take a look and see how this is at playing out in your life. We have the Moon card in the reverse for your thoughts. I feel like you're trying to, you want more clarity. You want more understanding. You want your path to be more clear. It's... It's like you can kind of see it. You kind of know where you want to go, kind of, you know, have a path carved out. But like how you're getting there doesn't seem very clear. Whether a specific path is right for you doesn't seem very clear. Is it worth it? That doesn't seem very clear. You could be thinking with communication, we got the four of pentacles or the four of, you have two fours here. You have the four of pentacles right here, but you have the four of cups here. That to me can be a little bit, one, it kind of goes with that nine of Cups in the reverse energy, that being unsatisfied, you know, not being happy, you know, it can be very, feeling very bored, feeling very, like, restless energy. And it also can be a card of, like, rejecting, okay? It can be a missed opportunity as well. So I feel like in your, in your communication, you're not satisfied with that either. It's like you're not getting what you need out of a situation or you're not getting what you need. Maybe you guys could be waiting on some kind of communication, waiting on some kind of positive news or something like that here. We're going to clarify these in a moment, but for your emotional energy, we have the strength in the reverse. So yeah, like I said, getting to a, a breaking point, getting to a point where you're not sure if you you know, want to continue on. You want to keep putting the work and energy into something. This could be a business. This can be a job, maybe a specific job. It can be a relationship. I feel like you're kind of kind of losing your strength here with this. It's just I'm not sure if it's worth it. I'm not sure if this is what I want to do. I'm not sure if I want to continue to invest. I don't know how much more I have in me to do that. You know, that's an energy that's coming through. It can be making you think about rejecting it with this Four of Cups. That can be a card of rejection, pushing something away. Um, it's not as giving you the emotional fulfillment that you need in order for it to be worth all of this. Now we have the Devil card here for what your intuition is trying to tell you. I feel like the big message with that, it's, it feels very um, bound and very fearful, okay? Um, so one of the things that could be keeping you 
in this, you know, why you haven't given up, why you haven't let go, you know, is fear of doing so. Um, maybe it's that fear if it's a job that it is, you know, maybe it's a job that you're miserable and you just can't, you just can't do it anymore. You know, maybe it's this energy of, you know, being afraid of what's going to happen if I leave. What if I don't find something better? What if I don't find something? Like, there's just this energy of whatever it is, you know, whatever it is for you, there's just all these fears surrounded surrounding the situation and that can be keeping you bound there but everything that we want is always going to be right on the other side of the fear so there can be something here that's making you feel you know very stuck in the situation very tied to it or attached you know especially if it's like a relationship a marriage you know a family member there's could be things that make you feel very stuck to that energy tied to that energy like you have to deal with it but i feel like with this energy that and i'm really drawn to how the devil he's got his hand out like this um so it's really drawn to me that you know, you don't have to, you can kind of put a stop to it. Um, you're not as bound as you think is kind of the energy that's coming through, but we're going to go ahead. I feel like a lot of the things that are keeping you bound is fear. Okay. Fear of what, you know, others will think fear of what society will think. If you, you know, sh get rid of a family member, if you decide not to be involved, it's just all these different fears. So maybe spending some time asking yourself, you know, why you're continuing to be in a situation that's taking so much from you, whatever it is, ask yourself, what are the reasons why? And is there fear, is there fear surrounding that? And, you know, taking a really big look at that will, I think, help you process it and help you have a deeper understanding and help maybe get that moon card turned around. So you do have some clarity. You do understand things. So we have the Empress here. This is going to be for what you're trying to ground. Yeah, you want abundance. You want to be happy. You want to grow. This is growth. This is abundance in all forms, whether that's love, whether that's, you know, financial growth, and even if it's spiritual growth, you know, there's something here. Um, and I feel like you're holding yourself back. This is what you want, um, but you're not getting it out of the situation that you keep giving and giving and giving to. So now it's asking yourself, you know, is this worth it? Is, is it worth it for me to keep getting here? Am I going to get what I want? Am I going to be able to ground this? If I keep staying in this situation, you know, there's some things that need to be looked at here. Now for your stability, we have the judgment in the reverse. So I feel like it's a decision that needs to be made one way or another, because I do kind of feel like you're in this back and forth energy and I'm definitely going to want to clear that. But the judgment card to me sometimes can be a call to action. So this can be saying that you're not taking any action. Um, the angel is coming out of the sky and he's asking these people to arise, you know, even in the, even in the traditional Rider weight deck, the angel is coming out of the sky with a giant flag that just captures your attention and a horn, okay, like a megaphone. He is up there, like, calling you to action. Like, something has to, a decision has to be made. There is a call to action now. So I feel like kind of you in this indecisive energy, should I put more into this? Should I stay here? Should I go? And when your energy is split like that, your attention, your energy is split like that, you're not gaining any momentum in any direction. I feel like spirit is calling on you to make a decision. Okay. Because at least then whatever direction you're going, at least you're making, you know, you're gaining momentum. At least you're moving in a certain direction. I feel like you're, that's why your path is so unclear because you're kind of being torn between two different ones at this time. Now what you're creating with this. So the way that tarot works, I do want to say to you guys is that it, takes the energy where we're at right now and it says if you stay in this energy this is the most likely outcome but the whole point of tarot is not so you can see the outcome and be like oh there's nothing i can do no it's so you can see okay this is where i'm at and this is what i'm doing right now and this is where that leads so if i don't like where it leads i know i have to change something different about where i'm at right now and what i'm doing right now and then i can have a different outcome so that's the whole point so we can see where what we're doing leads us and if we don't like where it leads us we can do something different to lead us somewhere else so where you're at right now in this indecisive energy not making your decision going back and forth um it leads to more anxiety more stress more sleepless nights more just being stuck in this energy um you know if it's money or if it's you know a job or you know a, a, a business or something that has to do with your finances Okay, or home, anything like that. And it could be causing you to really hold on to that um, here. But there's something here where, you know, what you're creating is just more of the same. What is that expression? It's trying to come into my mind, but it's not there fully. If you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always got. That's kind of this energy. If you keep in the same energy, this not making a decision, not choosing a path, not taking any action one way or another, you know, it's going to stay very much the same. You holding on to things, you kind of going back and forth, and you being very much stressed and in your head. There's definitely a need here for just making a decision and letting the energy gain momentum one way or another. 
but we're going to clarify some things. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So tell me about the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You can be feeling like something is a waste, has been a waste of your time with that energy as well. Got the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. So feeling very impatient as well um, in a situation. There's something that's not moving as fast as you would like it to with the Knight of Swords in the, in the reverse here. And I feel like you could, some of you, like I said, I feel like you guys could be waiting on some kind of communication. I still feel like that applies for some of you still um, with that Knight of Swords in the reverse. Um, get the Knight of, Nine of Pentacles, though. So there is there is potential. It is progressing, okay? Going from the Seven of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. There is progress, but it's very slow moving. Pentacles are very slow moving energies anyways. Um, so I feel like some you're getting frustrated as well because something isn't moving as fast as you would like it to. Tell me about this moon in the reverse. Moon in the reverse energy. So I feel like you are being guided. And I feel like if you guys, this moon card sometimes can be divine guidance. And I do feel like sometimes if you guys ask for guidance, if you guys ask your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, whatever you God, whatever you believe in, um, you know, if you ask for some signs, if you ask for um, some guidance in what direction to choose, I do feel like um, you'll be helped with that, with that moon card showing up. And the Ten of Cups. You just want to be happy. So it's, how do I get there? How do I get there? I feel like the path is making itself clear to you throughout this month. I think that um, you're kind of being called to action here. So maybe taking a little bit of a spiritual pause. For some of you, I'm giving a very specific message, especially if you like to take baths. Um, you know, maybe having a nice spiritual bath where you really spend some time trying to let things come out. I feel like sometimes messages can come in when you're not trying to so maybe just trying to spend some more time relaxing yourself and see you'd be surprised what kind of clarity will just pop in tell me about this four of cups energy the justice card and the universe does have your back on this situation okay the universe is you know there is some kind of balance where if you just keep doing right things and you keep taking steps in the right direction there's definitely more call to action with this as well keep putting stuff on the right side of the scale you know the karma has your back here but it does kind of look like to me that is even more of a a more of a call to action so there seems like that there's two paths that you guys have to choose from um and the biggest hold up for you right now is that you're just not choosing tell me about this devil card Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you can't put the new work on it. You can't gain any men momentum. Um, you can't work it. You're just going to stay stuck if you don't make a decision. That is coming. It's all coming back to the same thing. Your guys' big um, message, you know, for the month of January is you're being torn between two different things. You're asking yourself, is this worth it? Should I continue to be here? Should I do something else? Um, whether that's in a friendship or relationship, whether that's a job, a business, however it applies for you. You know, if you're feeling that torn energy, um, staying in that is only going to lead to more of where you're at. So it's really a big need to, you know, finding the strength, finding the strength to just make that decision. Tell me about the judgment in the reverse, the ace of pentacles in the reverse, and the ace of pentacles. So I feel like once you make the decision, there is going to, I think things are going to work out um, a lot better than you expect. Got the ace of pentacles, there's going to be a new opportunity in whatever that is. So if it's a relationship you're leaving behind, there's going to be a new opportunity. If it's a job, there's going to be a new opportunity. Whatever it is for you, there is a new new opportunity trying to come in for you. But I feel like you have to clear out the space and make space for it to come in. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Um, if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising in Venus can resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys hit that notification bell the moment we do our monthlies, mid-monthlies, weeklies, bonuses, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. But most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.